Hello everyone, this is Josh from Chip Theory Games and I'm here to just give you a couple updates on all of our little minis. Uh, these are our Spire minis for Cloud Spire and there's been some pretty big changes in regards to these. Now these things are still massive, that's one thing that hasn't changed. Um, likely we're going to tweak some of the sizes. This Norora one over here is still stands quite tall and we want to make sure that we're not bumping into them with our hands as we're reaching over for units and whatnot. So this one needs to come down in size, likely a half inch or so. But um, one of the biggest changes was, originally this was the design that we kind of were showing people, and that was to have your tower or your spire top that tells you what it was going to be, um, kind of gives you the talents and, and the stats of the spire on top and then all of its um, all of its upgrades right underneath it. So you could see that this has one one attack because there's an orange, one range, and uh, one uh, defense as well. But as we were testing this, these because of the the, the size of these and uh, whatnot, we're we're kind of still finding that when you're reaching over something, you you would catch it and it would start to move. A chip or make something fall and it wasn't as easy as we wanted it to be. Therefore, uh, we did a fair amount of renovation on this and we decided to put all the upgrades underneath the spire uh, and then have this be the one chip that locks in on the top. So now all of a sudden you've got all your stats up there still, that's what you need to see, and then visually you can see all of your upgrades from the side right below it. Uh, that also allows you to, you know, move that thing very easily around, grab it to, you took a damage, grab it to take that off of there, and then you you can still see what your spire is left with. Um, so that is what we're, we're working toward now, and uh, there's still plenty to do. These are, these are literally just off of a, a little machine, so there's, there's, you know, there's still work to be done. But the top chip would be in there, and then you've got all of your upgrades underneath. Um, and it's supposed to be something that would be easily, you know, you easily removable and it can slide right back down, you know, on top of, uh, this will extend the lip on the top. There's other little changes that we want to make just to make it easier. Um, we want to make sure that there's enough, enough of a gap between them. Yeah, we've got, we've got this guy, he's our, our Grove tender. And so same thing for him. We're probably going to extend, a, a tree branch down to create that fourth, um, uh, just for a little more structure, that, that fourth base um, for him. And, but yeah, I mean, they're all, they're all looking pretty sweet and uh, giving it a lot of character. I mean, these things, like I said, these things are massive. Um, they, but they, they really add to the, the look of, you know, the, the spires being up high, firing down on all of these units that are below. Um, and to be clear, if you're, if you're not familiar with these, um, each faction has one spire representation. Even though you have four different spires that are unique to that faction, uh, there's one spire representation, and then which, whatever chip you have at the t in the top, whichever way it's flipped, will determine you know, the, the spire that you've, you've gone ahead with. So, um, so that's how you're gonna be able to tell what, what actual spire you've chosen for that position. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, th there's a lot more detail to come. I mean, this is, again, a quick, a quick rendering. So you can't really get that, you can't see that there's a giant that's basically been woven in um, and, and webbed into the, the Grieges uh, spire there. There's a wing somewhere else that's caught in there. This, this is the Braun and spires, and they are hoisting up boulders and, and uh, source bombs so that the flinger that stands in the middle here can, can fling them out. And, uh, you know, it, they're, they're definitely, they have a lot more personality than we originally um, were, well, we were just unsure if we would be able to include, get that much detail in. And um, I'm very pleased with, with where that's ending up, so. And they will not um, necessarily be green. Correct, yes, yes. We are gonna, I, I can't say f uh, for sure if we can vary the, the colors at the cost that we're, we're doing these at. Uh, for each faction, but obviously that's something that I think would be of, of value and, and kind of would be desired. Um, so if we can go with different colors for different factions, um, we will try to do that. Uh, but at this point, I, I can't rule on that one way or another. Um, 
yeah, but that's that's kind of how they're looking, and uh, hopefully this is kind of exciting because we're pretty we're pretty excited with how they're turning out, even in their early state, kind of crude state, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, that's our spires. Thanks, everyone.